Hey everyone, welcome to Hoken Nation. Today we're going to be discussing some of the brand new PlayStation 5 news regarding Game GameStop uh, confirming some features and also we're going to go into um, Final Fantasy 7 Remake DLC that you can get by purchasing Butterfingers and other types of candy. Let's get right into it. Alrighty, so here we go. Key PS5 features finally confirmed from GameStop. Backwards compatibility is 100% coming to the PS5 in a move set to rival the Xbox Series X. So this article just came out today um, talking about how GameStop has just reconfirmed um, some of the PlayStation 5 specs. So let's check it out here as we scroll down here. While the world eagerly awaits to get a look at the PlayStation 5 hardware, Sony has revealed what's under the hood, and there's no shortage of horsepower. Wow. So GameStop is basically confirming full 8K TV support, which most, I mean, most TVs aren't going to be able to support that for a while, or most people aren't going to be able to get 8K TVs for a while. Um, the best spoke eight core AMD chipset, which I'm really interested in about. Um, if you have any information on this and how it runs, let me know in the comments below. Um, very interesting. Also the 3d audio, of course, um, the built for purpose SSD that's, uh, been confirmed before as well. And backwards compatibility with PS4 games and PS4 hardware. Interesting how they say that. So, they still haven't mentioned PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, and PlayStation 3 games yet. So, I hope Sony comes out and let's hope they backwards combat, they're able, their PlayStation 5 is able to be backwards compatible with every generation of PlayStation. That's what all the fans want. I hope they're able to do that. But personally, if they're able just to bring uh, backwards compatibility to PS4, I will be totally fine with that and totally happy with that. And I hope it's like backwards compatibility with every PS4 game that you can play, even third-party games, not just exclusive games. So we still need, we're still looking for more information about that. Um, the ray tracing capabilities, of course. Um, and yeah, this is great news. Although much of what we already know um, from an interview from Mark Surdy back in April, of course, the Wired article. Uh, this marks the first time that all this information has been officially released and collected all in one place for potential buyers. Interesting, okay. And yeah, so, I mean, this comes right after Xbox Series X released their um, specs and hardware details, of course. And so now let's go to the actual official GameStop website. Um, this is the actual post from the GameStop website that they posted today. So let's kind of read it here. Um, PlayStation 5 is coming in 2020. I'm excited. I'm, it's a day one buy for me. It's a day one buy. As anticipation builds for the release of the Sony PlayStation 5 sometime in the winter of 2020, it's always fun to speculate about the possibilities. That said, here's a look at the PS5 news we can confirm. Okay, so this is important. GameStop, GameStop you better be credible. <laughs> about this but let's get into it uh the ps5 design includes the ability to play physical and digital media okay uh this was one of the biggest questions around the ps5 specs and it has now been confirmed the ps5 will have a drive for playing physical copies of game and media of course games and media as well as have the ability to play digital games uh game downloads and streams okay so yeah, streams of course, um, that's probably referring to PlayStation Now. PlayStation Now will probably get upgraded. Uh, hopefully it does. Hopefully they change PlayStation Now to more downloading games because I don't like to really stream games. Um, but here we go. Let's continue here. The new PlayStation 5 controller has been redesigned. The name, the name hasn't been announced yet. Here's guessing it's going to be the DualShock 5, of course, because the PS4 controller was the DualShock 4. But the new PS5 controller is confirmed to have several new features, replacing the rumble technology with haptic feedback, making physical feedback between PS5 controller and player much more immersive and realistic. The triggers on the PS5 controller be adaptive, meaning they can be programmed with varying resistance to simulate actions more realistically. Design-wise, it is expected the PS5 controller will look similar to the DualShock 4, but expect a few differences as well. Okay, that's that's great news again. Um, 
I love the DualShock 4. The DualShock 4 and the Xbox, the original Xbox 360 and the uh, Nintendo Pro controller from the Nintendo Switch are my three favorite controllers of all time. They're perfect controllers and can't forget the uh, uh, the GameCube controller. But I mean, the go-to gaming controllers are the DualShock 4 and the Xbox 360 controller back in the day. And maybe even the Xbox One controller. But I'm, I'm happy that they're keeping the DualShock 5 controller the same, but adding um, slight de uh, upgrades to it. I think that's perfect. You don't want to drastically change the controller. Make it similar to gamers, you know, make it make it work well um, for people that are uh, used to what they've, they've had for a while. And hopefully it's not that big as a jump from the PS5 or the, the DualShock 3 to the DualShock 4 because I hated the DualShock 3. The DualShock 4 controller is amazing. I've loved it uh, for like eight years of playing on the PS4. So let's get into the confirmed specs now from GameStop. Again, the, spec, the PS5 specs are sure to impress. While the world eagerly awaits to get a look at the PlayStation 5 hardware, Sony has revealed what's under the hood, and there's no short of, of horsepower. Uh, full 8K TV support. I have, a, I have a 4K TV, so I won't be able to use that quite yet. Uh, best spoke 8-core AMD chipset. Again, let me know in the comments below if you know anything about this chipset and if it's really good. I'm very interested. Also, 3D audio, which hopefully is much, much improved um, from the PS4. Um, built for purpose SSD storage. I'm very excited about the SSD storage in the PS5. Flash load times. Um, you're going to be able to uh, t uh, teleport to one place to the other fast. Fast travel is going to be like that. And I'm very excited for that. Um, backwards compatibility with PS4 games. PSVR hardware. Again, I would like to see PS1, PS2, and PS3. I know that's asking a lot. But... Uh, then again, if it doesn't happen, I'm completely fine with them just doing uh, PS4 games. And then maybe if they even want to, they could do P PS1, 2, and 3 games in the future. You know what I mean? They could add that to the to the console itself. And also ray tracing capabilities. I think ray tracing capabilities and the SSD storage are the two main things I'm most excited for the PS5. Because it's basically giving you a very, very, very big upgrade from the PS4. It's basically having a low, uh, a, like a gaming PC, but optimized as a PlayStation. You're, you're having ray tracing, you're having an SSD, AMD chipset, 8 core, that's pretty decent. We still don't know the RAM, we still, we probably, some of the RAM's leaked and all that, but we don't know the official, official RAM, and like, um you know, the official, official, uh, other specs, because we still haven't seen the UI yet, we still haven't seen the console itself yet, um, there's a lot of stuff we have not seen, all the information we've basically had so far has been very vague, um, but, I mean, it gives us a decent idea of what to expect for the, uh, PlayStation reveal event, or the PlayStation, um, uh, direct, whatever they decide to do, um, and yeah, let's keep reading here. These features reveal the PS5 will boast more speed, visual fidelity, and overall power. Of course, the fact that the new PS5 will include your PlayStation 4 library through backwards compatibility is great news for current PS4 owners. That has me so happy again and so excited. I have a PS4 with library of games, and I want to go back to probably um, platinum those games. I love going for 100% and platinuming games. So I think this is amazing that this is coming. I'm so happy for this. Um, stay tuned to this page for the latest PS5 news as it becomes available, including more information on the price and the exact release date. Okay. So they'll update it, of course, on their page. Um, we can really uh, read a little bit into here as well. Um, the next generation of video games begins this holiday, and a new era of gaming will unfold through the PlayStation 5. Sony's newest console that is designed to reduce load times, improve graphics, and deliver both physical and digital games. Sony hasn't revealed the look of the PlayStation 5 yet, and has kept many of its details shrouded in mystery, but has discussed what's inside the machine a fair bit. PlayStation 5 will feature a solid-state drive, an enhanced GPU capable of delivering ray tracing, 8-core, 16-thread CPU, okay, that's pretty high, that's pretty good, and an AM2, AMD Zen 2. So overall, um, it's going to be a good console. You're going to get your money's worth. Let's hope that it's under $500. 
Let's hope it's like 450 and they undercut themselves, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Hopefully we get the announce all the details in a couple months, man. And yeah, so that is the PlayStation 5 news for today. Um, now let's move on to the Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, news regarding some uh, DLC news. Alrighty, so now let's go over the Final Fantasy VII Remake DLC candy bars that you're going to... Uh, be, you're gonna go to the store buy some candy bars and you're gonna be able to um, show your receipt online and get uh, DLC uh, from the candy bar so let's kind of break this down here unlock your DLC buy snap score okay the Butterfinger Final Fantasy 7 remake will offer begin at 12 p.m. Easter on March 3rd 2020 interesting okay so March 3rd get ready to buy some Butterfingers um, let's see here so here's the list of rewards there are available at 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So you can max out basically um, buying 10 uh, Butterfinger bars. So I would do it like I'm probably just going to buy like 10 at once. And then I think you'll be able to get all of these. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You'll be able to get all of these. Um, let's kind of read more. Okay, here. So here are the awards: the Midgar Bangle, the Shinra Bangle, the Cornea's Amulet, Corneo's Amulet, the Superstar Belt, and the Mako Crystal. I have no idea what those are, but I will eventually find out when uh, we do uh, the let's the playthrough. Actually, on uh, we're gonna have a playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake. So stay tuned for that on Hoken Nation. Um, I'm very excited. And also, we're going to do an unboxing video for that as well. So, Butterfinger has partnered with Square to bring, um, uh, bring D uh, fans DLC for the upcoming Final Fantasy VII Remake. To do so, you must purchase Butterfinger Crunch or Baby Ruth candy bars and submit an image of the receipt Butterfinger to get a digital code in return. This offer would begin at 12 p.m. Eastern on March 3rd. will run until May 14th in North America only. So make sure you get on this sooner than later so you don't procrastinate later and forget to do it. I'm going to make sure I do this sooner than later as well. All right, and that wraps up all the PlayStation 5 news and the Final Fantasy VII Remake news. We're going to continue to cover the PlayStation 5 news until the lead up of the PlayStation 5 reveal event and up to the launch of the PlayStation 5. So stay tuned here to Hoka Nation. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the amazing support. And also, we're going to continue to do Final Fantasy 7 Remake news until the lead up of the launch as well. So again, I appreciate all the amazing support. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notifications on. And yeah, you all have an amazing day. Thank you.